Ladies and gentlemen, New Year's resolutions. A lot of folks like to, at the flip of the calendar, make their annual goal to pursue their dream job. And I encourage you to do that, as a matter of fact. Life is short. Why not go for it? And a lot of folks, obviously, here in Southern California, around the world, they want to get into show business because it's fun. It's a sexy kind of profession. And uh, joining us right now is a gentleman who's had a big career, Saturday Night Live, Night Court, uh, Boy Meets World, uh, both the sitcom world and sketch comedy. And he's written a great book to help you write that perfect spec script that could get you hired. Uh, It's called The Sitcom Writer's Cookbook. Easy to follow recipes for TV writing success. And uh, it's a pleasure to welcome the show. Kevin Kelton. Kevin, how are you? Hey, let's not forget that you had a pretty good career for yourself. Yeah, look, I wrote myself right into radio. (laughs) (laughs) With a lot of good credits in television before that. Well, thank you, sir, for remembering, because you'd have to have a long memory to remember my career. Let's talk about why did you choose to teach folks how to craft sitcom scripts in a cookbook format? Well, there are a few other books out there that touch on the same subject matter, and I wanted to give mine a hook, a spin, and I also wanted to make it a little bit more accessible to people who maybe are a little nervous or anxious about trying to write a script for the first time. So by using a mock cookbook format and metaphorically comparing it to recipes, I'm hoping that more people will try it because like you, I believe people should try to go for their dream job or just write a script because it might be fun. Listen, a lot of people play golf and they're not Tiger Woods. So why not try to write your own script? You know, and I actually think that you have a deeper appreciation or maybe you become a more discerning consumer of television product when you've actually written one of these things. Like I know, I love music, but I know that uh, as as a non-musician, like the worst bass player playing the third set at some club with four people in it knows more about music than I will ever know because they actually did it. That's right. And I think it will enhance people's viewing of television as well. And if there's a show that you really love, maybe you want to try to write your own just to see whether you can do it. All right. Let's talk about this recipe for success. You talk about the ingredients for a res- uh, the recipe for success in the television writing business. And that includes determination, studying the half hour art form, ideas, talent and more determination. Talk to us about determination, because I do think that you listed it first, and I totally agree that unless you really, really want to do this, it's probably not for you. Well, in anything that we pursue in life, we have to make choices along the way about do I have a talent for this? Do I have an ability to make it in this? Or am I pursuing a dream that's not realistic? But for a lot of people, that break doesn't come right away. And I'm sure you have stories like this too, Doug, but I remember even after I was working in television, I once sent a script to a guy who was a well-known manager of writers, and he read my script, met with me, and told me I had no talent whatsoever, and I should not pursue this career because I was wasting my time. But I did not let that deter me, and he was wrong, and I was right. Uh, We're talking with Kevin Kelton. The book is called The Sitcom Writer's Cookbook, Easy to Follow Recipes for TV Writing Success. It's available at Amazon. Now, Kevin, most people are trying to crack the business. They will write a spec script based on a hit show, something that's uh, currently popular. And then that changes. You know, there was a time where every spec script was Cheers and every spec script was Seinfeld, whatever. Do you recommend going that route or writing an original pilot and trying to create your own world? I recommend these days writing a pilot. Now, if you're in it just for fun and and you like The Bear, you like The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and you just want to write a script for that for fun, go ahead and do it. But if you're going to pursue a career in the business, I would suggest having at least one pilot in your portfolio because that seems to be what people want to read now. They want to hear your original voice and know how you would bring something original to their show. Well, if you want to find the road, Kevin Kelton is the sitcom whisperer, so get his book, The Sitcom Writer's Cookbook, Easy to Follow Recipes for TV Writing Success. It's available at Amazon.com. Kevin, Happy New Year. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks, and I just want to mention I'm also starting a new pilot writing class at UCLA in January, so look for that too.